Have you ever seen these people build these cool statues and wonder, how did they do that? We call these builds organics. They're basically just anything that isn't a building or a terrain. And today I'm going to show you how to build them using a plugin called Voxel Sniper. Since it is a plugin, you do have to use it on a server, but if you don't already have access to a server with it, you can use the bakery server. It's a plot server with all of the building tools I use. Now let's show you how the plugin works. All right, y'all, we are going to speed run this. So basically you're going to want to start out by grabbing a gunpowder and a arrow. These are your two main tools. All right, so first command, type slash B space B. This is going to give you your basic spear brush. You can also type slash B space B, and this gives you a similar brush, but instead of spheres, it's going to place cubes. This is really good for making your first rough um, outline of whatever build you're making. So let's say you don't like the size of the brush you're using, you can type slash B space a number. So if I type slash 13, that's going to give us an incredibly large cube. Usually you're not going to want to go at this size because that is, that's really big. So if you type slash undo and then a number, it'll undo that number of times. So undo space two, it undoes both of those cubes. Let's say that you don't want to be building out a sponge. You can type slash voxel and then the name of a block you want to use, let's say stone, and then it will change the block that you are using. All right, so now we can get into the really bread and butter of voxel sniper. Type slash B space BB. This stands for blend ball. Hit enter. And now the gunpowder and the arrow are, are going to actually do different things. Gunpowder, when you click on something, it's going to bring it out towards you. It's going to sort of summon a ball right at the edge of whatever it is you are building. And it just sort of mushes out the uh, structure. Next, you can use the arrow and it's going to smooth things out. These two combined together are really good for getting your uh, organic shapes. Th that's how you get these uh, smooth curves on like lemons or hands. Another, th another thing you can do that I don't use as often, but it's still good to know. Type slash B, E, melt. And now the gunpowder. That's going to bring things out again. It works slightly different than blend ball, but it is really similar. Just if you're not getting the uh, shapes that you're liking, with the blend ball you can try this to see if it works out and then the arrow is going to work similarly to blend ball but it's going to mush things in voxel sniper is a pretty big plugin but this is really all you need to make some really cool stuff it's all i use at least in order to really learn organics though you've really just got to get started for most people trying organics for the first time it's a really big struggle working with curves instead of right angles that most structure builders are used to for this build i'm working on i'm using this statue as a reference i suggest to pretty much everyone to always use a reference when you're working in organics I'm willing to guess that you don't have a photographic memory, so it's pretty much impossible for you to remember every single detail of an object. When you're starting out, I suggest trying to go for simpler shapes and smaller sizes. Everyone has a size of build that they tend to work best with, but usually smaller tends to be easier. The bigger the builds, the more details you're able to add, but it does also make it a bit more difficult to manage. When I started out making organics, I practiced building food stuff, like this lemon over here. Every build, including the simpler ones, will generally have the same workflow. Start out with general shapes and then work smaller and get more detailed as you go in. Once you get into building anatomy, you can start learning some basic proportions as well. I suggest making a skeleton frame before you start so that you can get an idea of what you're doing. I used to look up videos of people doing sculpting in real life to figure out how to get the anatomy correct. Some general rules I learned is that the torso is generally three times the length of the head, and the leg should be a similar length to the torso. And if you're building a hand, your middle finger should be roughly the same length as your palm. Getting in the basic proportions right can make it a bit less difficult to get the rest of the build down. For this build, I started out with the skeleton frame, and then I boxed out all the shapes using the ball brush. Then once I had all the shapes where I wanted them to, I started to smooth them out using the blend ball. Once you get everything smooth and how you like it, you can then start working on texturing the build. For texturing, I use a different plugin called Go Paint. It's pretty self-explanatory once you try it, but I'll give you a quick overview. Go Paint's pretty simple. Take your feather, left click, and this menu pops up. Your brushes are right here. There's a lot of different brushes and you can click through to change your brush shape. Here's your brush size. You can shift it up and down. This turns your mask on and off. This is the block that you're painting with. This tells you what block that you're going to paint on. This is your mask. So basically what block that you're going to paint on. And this is how you can turn on and off your mask. So let's say that we wanted to paint this blue. I'm going to come in here, select the brush type I want. I'm going to stick with sphere for now. Change the item slot to this blue wool. I'm going to keep the mask off for now. Now, wherever we're looking, if you right click, it will paint that area blue. You can change your brush size up and down to get different levels of detail. Or you could set your mask to not paint over anything that you don't want to. 
Anyway, so that's how people make cool statues in Minecraft. If you want to learn how to do it yourself, hop on the bakery server and try it out. The only way to really learn this is to just jump in and try it for yourself. But that's all I have for today. See y'all.